morning, Miss Andrews. Good morning, Sir Frederick. Has our master been baying for me? Not yet, sir. Morning. Morning. Same numbers? Well, they said it hadn't changed. I always wanted to ask, but what does the little red star on the door mean, or what shouldn't I ask? It means the lady in here makes the tea, so the tea lady knows not to knock. I'm serious. Now, don't say down enough in for you. Oi! What's this? What's it look like? It's a Danish pastry. I wanted a donut. You don't get donuts unless you've got a little red star on your door. What might do with that? Sir Frederick Leafy's office. Lunchtime? The usual place? Yes. Lunchtime. Usual place. Okay. I'll be back at three. Oh, don't forget you have an appointment with the minister at 3.15, Sir yes, Frederick. Yes, Miss Andrews, I hadn't forgotten. I'm now head of London Bureau of Moscow Television. Oh, Yuri. I am so pleased. That means you're going to be here for a long time. Yes. Funny, I... I thought I'd grown out of all this. I really did miss you. Good. As you should. Did you meet anyone in Moscow? No. <laughs> no. It was very dull. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, true. I should have stayed longer, but uh, I slipped away. I'm glad. I was hoping you would. Are you free tonight? Yes. I'll talk to you. Yes. I brought a little present for you. What? What is it? <laughs> no, no. Wait until tonight. You have, perhaps, a little gift for me, too. Tonight. I really must go. Not here. Until tonight. show you Leningrad, the colored buildings. Oh, it's, it's like, like a toy shop. It's very beautiful. I'd like that. Be happy. So 
Sometimes I see sadness there. When I think of what I'm doing to my country, I've got no right to be happy. Still, seeing you like this makes up for everything. Our two countries already help each other. Trade, I mean, medicine. Oh, no, I no, no. The, the little English girl came to Moscow for an eye operation. All you are doing. Oh, I know what I'm doing, Yuri. Don't make me out a hypocrite as well. I cannot bear you to feel like this. Perhaps you would rather that we stop seeing each other. Oh, no. No, I. Look. I started all this. I'm sorry. Let's just drop it. Whatever pleases you. You, uh, You have something for me? It's the entry commands for the MI5 computer for the next month. This is what you call having a night out, is it? This is all the going to see my mother. Got a headache? What should my hair's been all about? Will you kindly... You have let everyone else go. Why not my friend? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not at liberty to give out any information regarding prisoners. But why? Sorry, Yuri. Looks like you're going to be out of commission for quite some time. But you know, I'd still like to know who else you laid your little trip on. Find out. Oh, we will. But like I said, seeing you like this makes up for everything. It wasn't exactly a holiday for me either. That isn't what you used to say. I demand to call my embassy. Whitehall sources regard the arrest as a considerable coup for the security services. Yevgenev has had several postings in the West, including head of bureau in Paris and Bonn. Journalist colleagues found him likable and sometimes blatantly pro-Western in his views. Moscow have so far remained silent about the incident. The strike by Spanish air traffic controllers... You're going to be late again. It's gone 8 o'clock. I don't know if the buses are anything like the way yesterday. Oh, darling, do turn that down. I have to put up with it all day long while you're at work. Aren't you having an egg? I haven't time. You haven't time to be reading the papers. And you were up again very late last night. I was reading. You look dreadful. Thanks. Not getting enough sleep. I said not getting enough sleep. I heard you the first time, Mummy. There's no need to keep on repeating yourself. Why don't you answer? Oh, you never talk to me anymore. Wear your grey one. No. Oh, you look very nice in that. Not anymore. Your rose. For God's sake, Mummy, stop rabbiting first thing in the morning. I don't know. I'm sure. What's the matter with you? You've changed. You never used to be like this. I never used to be like a lot of things. I'm sorry, but you just have to put up with it. Eat your egg. Make sure you have something for lunch. Lunch.
Good morning, Miss Sitwell. Oh, good morning. I can offer you a lift, perhaps. Uh, yes. Thank you. My principal, the Soviet ambassador, demands the immediate release Mr. Of... Zukov, if I were in your position, I'd try it on too. Your man was caught with the material on him. The woman was an agent provocateur. Of course she was. How else were we to set our honey trap? Furthermore, additionally, and or alternatively, the material was planted on him without his knowledge. Vasily. If I hadn't already known you trained as a liar, that would have told me. I'm going to see the boss for his personal commendation. I'll probably make you a day. I just wish Sir Philip lived in some nice built-up area somewhere. All this fresh air plays havoc with my lungs. I don't mention my lips, past the lips, so will you know? It's in the shop. It's that flu you had. Lots of people get dry lips afterwards. Do you see what I see? Yeah, I'm washing it. What do you see? Let's find out.
Nigel. What's on? It's Maggie. She's been kidnapped. What? How? On the road to um, Sir Philip's place. It was a hijack. Tessa managed to get away. Was she all right? Yes. Go and pick her up. Central will give you the details. Understood. Can you put it up on the scanner? there with your bare face hanging out and tell me you know nothing about it. It's got your fingerprints all over it. Mr. Beaumont, I appreciate how you must feel, none better. But I can assure you that as cultural... Cultural? Attache, as cultural attaché, I know nothing, nothing about, about it. it. I can, of course, hazard the little guess. Do hazard. You have a great many enterprising mercenaries in the West. Uh, perhaps one of these gangs has had the uh, enlightened idea of using Mrs. Forbes to free Yuri Evgenev and offering to sell him back to us. Should they make such an offer... Naturally, it would be one you couldn't refuse. Would you? In my place? Zukov, I'd never be in your place. Uh, I'm sorry, miss. You have to move on with... Oh, well. There's not a lot you can do. It's all in end. Where's the truck driver? He's in hospital. He got a crack on the head. They hijacked the truck, slung him in the back and battered him one. Which hospital? That I can't say. What? Look, special branch moved in. We're just following orders. Look, can you please tell us where they took him? Through channels, love. You know the routine. I was here when Mrs. Forbes was taken. I hear you're very lucky to be alive. Yes. You didn't get a look at any of them, did you? I'm sorry, Inspector. Through channels. You know the routine. I'm sorry we've been warned off. Political kidnap is Section D's province, and they've gone to the top on this. Nigel! Do you think I like it? All we want is a word with the truck driver. I don't know where he is. Mr. Beaumont, there's been a rather unpleasant telephone call for you. It's been recorded. Thank you. Just to let you know, Beaumont, you've got eight hours left. If you don't agree to exchange, you'll get Mrs. Forbes back, but it'll be piece by piece, if you understand me. Think it over. We'll be in touch. Obviously, it was recorded in the soundproof room. There's no extraneous noise on it at all. Clearly, they know their business. I can't bear it! We can't just sit on our phones while Maggie's been Tessa, talking. You and Fred are heroes. This needs an army. Thanks so much. What if Section D's army doesn't find her? That we don't have any choice. We have to exchange Yuri with Maggie. It's as simple as that. Nigel! Nigel! It's out of my hands. We've got to do something. It was all my fault. I just left her to it. Look, you behaved like an absolute pro. You know the score. Someone always has to get back. Anyway, what are you going to do with four of them? That horrible message. They've got to agree to swap. Well, now where are we going? to see Nigel's boss. You'll never get near him. Sir Philip's a friend of the family. Oh, Nigel will kill us. It's 
for Maggie. It's for Maggie. You mean to say you're just going to sit there on your bureaucratic backside while they butcher Maggie? My dear girl, of course not. We're already negotiating to find some uh, lesser prize than Yuri Yerkinev and the other side will accept in exchange. And if they don't? In addition, we are making our best endeavours to find her. Why haven't we been allowed to help? You did lose her in the first place. She was on her way to see you, sir, to receive your personal commendation after the Yuganov affair. That is true. She is a fine, brave operative. We're making our best endeavours to find her, but uh, sad. An exchange under the present terms is uh, quite out of the question. Thank you. Um, Nigel Beaumont doesn't know anything about this, does he? I shouldn't think so. <laughs> Good. Send in Miss Citrill, will you, on your way out? Um, his nibs wants you. Thank you, Miss Smith. Was there any news? No. I know Mrs. Forbes. She's a fine woman. She is. You know what you've done, don't you? You've made me look the kind of fool that can't control his own section. Look, Nigel, Get I'm... out of my sight! And do what? You're so good at cutting corners. So cut them and find Maggie. Do forgive me. I did overhear a conversation this morning which indicated that the whereabouts of a certain truck driver might help you find Mrs. Forbes. Yeah, but... Hello? Sir Anthony's private secretary, please. Charlotte. Caroline here. Things. A bit rough as it happens. Who are you? How come do you know my name? We're working on the kidnapping. Come on, the police, you. It's true. Tell us what happened. I've already told the old Bill. Well, tell us. So they stopped me, right? Pulled me out of the cab, and then they clobbered me. Mind you, I still saw them push that woman into another car. And what they do with her car? They put it in the back of the second truck. Think about. There was a second truck? That's right. Big American rig. Came out of nowhere, it did. To get rid of Maggie's car. That's what the raps were for. It wasn't easy, though. She damn near rammed them. All the tyres were shot. The second truck, what did it look like? Black. Big silver smokestacks. Had a pair of them fancy horns. Be 16 litres at least. Geared up, it'd do over the tonne. Maybe 120. American white. No, it was black. No, 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 the White Motor Company of Ohio. Well, it's a lovely rig. It's a prime mover. I don't get many of those over here. Same on the uh, Middle Eastern route. When you say there aren't many about, how many? Doesn't at the most. Great. Computer will pick them up in seconds. Oh, yeah, I know all about your naffing computer. Well, you're a good boy now. Clean sheet, well, slightly soiled. Listen, there was one of them nicked a while back from a firm in Sheffield. Had a load of uh, electronics, export band stuff. That'll be the one. Thank you, Bert. <laughs> Your mother can see you now. Don't. She still thinks I'm inside. <laughs>
to us so quickly, whoever he was. You'd make a great nurse. Always jokes. You think death is funny? Depends. I suppose I could crack a smile if I saw one of you lot fall off a high building. But it's not our death we're talking about, it's yours. Unless you can plead with your superiors to let Yuri go so that you may live. No chance. You're a fool. I'm a fool. Who's eating and who's serving? an accident. Make it easy for yourself. Where would they take Mrs. Forbes? How would I know? I wasn't here. You would know the kind of place. I have no evidence that Mrs. Forbes was taken. Or oh, this could be simply a way of getting information from me. If Mrs. Forbes dies, you'll begin to wish you did the same. I see you didn't make it then. It's about where we started. Yep. Wait a minute. Where we started? Maggie's appointment to see Sir Philip. Who knew about it? Well, Maggie didn't know until the night before. Sir Philip's secretary rang her at home. Thank you. Hello, Miss Sitwell. Oh, hello. I don't think I'll get anything hot. We've nearly finished serving. Don't worry. Not much action going on here, is there? Action? Mmm. These Whitehall wallows aren't a great deal of fun, as a rule. Up to town on the 915, back on the 543. You live in town, don't you, Miss Sitwell? Yes. Mummy and I have a flat in Bayswater. Your papa was in the army, wasn't he? Yes. He's been dead some years now. And you stayed on with your dear old mum. Bit of a tie, isn't it? One does one's duty. Can't be much fun, though. You were engaged at one time. How on earth did you know that? What happened? Why did you break it off? 
I didn't. He did. He went out to Singapore. I couldn't abandon Mummy, and she and Edward didn't get on. How did you know I was engaged? I'm afraid we've been looking you up. How dare you? We dare, Miss Sitwell. Sir Philip will be outraged. Janet, you've been working with the CS so long, everyone seems to have overlooked you. There's another man in your life, isn't there? What do you mean? You were one of Yuri's conquests. Yuri? Oh. The one they want to exchange for Mrs. Forbes? I know you're concerned about Mrs. Forbes, but I think... Pretty Boy's been having a rough time. He's been naming names, Janet. He wouldn't. He would never... Oh, we dare, Janet. And we cheat. Nigel Beaumont is on his way to see your mummy with a search party. Oh, my God. It'll kill her. We could divert him, if you'd rather save her the pain. They were waiting for me outside the flat the morning after his arrest. They didn't want me. They wanted a bigger fish. They said they had photographs, tapes, everything. Okay. We're going to leave now. We're going to get up and go normally. Sir Philip is going to be told you're indisposed. And you, Janet are going to help us find Maggie. Your life is getting shorter every minute. Whose isn't? Here is a message we want you to record. Stick it on your fridge. Next time it won't be me, it will be Borgas. He's very um, delicate. If you still refuse to be sensible, he will start to kill you. But not too quickly. If we can't have Yuri back, we must get as much as we can out of you. Hmm? An hourglass? I thought you'd lock me into high tech. Now, that is the point. It's not an hourglass. Sand does not run out in an hour. When does it run out, then? That's for me to know and you to worry about. Ninety minutes, two hours, two and a half. All you have to know is when sand runs out, Borgas will come. Shout if you have anything to say before then. I will hear you. come home to roost. Some chicken. Some egg, Yuri. And it's all over you, comrade. But I thought... I... Sit down, Janet. You realize the charges against you are bound to be of a very serious nature. Yes. Complicity in a murder would be even more serious. Where is she? Where have they taken Mrs. Forbes? I don't know. I don't know. Why did you give her away? He threatened me with the pictures and the tapes. I told the girls. And then they said... They said Yuri had asked that I help him. Your affair with Yuri was very well concealed. Where did you meet him? In Greece. 
Mummy and I were on a tour. I didn't know he was Russian. And then he followed you back here? Later, yes. How do you think it was that you were not discovered? Perhaps it was as a young lady there suggested. I've been around for so long, I was overlooked. Do you believe now that Yuri asked for your help? No. Your meetings in London, where did they take place? They weren't in London. Where then? It was always at weekends. I told Mummy I was on a course. It was very cloak and dagger. I got a train to Seven Oaks, and then I was met. Not Yuri. Then I was taken by car. But a few minutes before arriving, I was made to crouch down with a coat over my head. It was for my own protection, Yori said. <clears throat> what kind of car was it? It varied. Sometimes it was a big black car. Sometimes it was a sports car, I think. Was a sports car a silver grey colour? I think so. Yes. And when you got there, your destination, what did you see of the place? It was quite large. Georgian, I think, in its own grounds. It was rather lovely, but Spartan inside. There were usually some men there, Bulgarians, but they kept apart from us. And in the car, before they made you duck down, can you remember in which direction you were going, either towards London or away? Towards, I think. Yes, definitely. I think you ought to get started, girls. I'll see what else Miss Sippo can tell us. Right, it's on the screen now. Are you putting out more cars? Yes, it's all in hand, but I don't want to flood the area until we can pinpoint it. Is Fred online? He is now. We've shown Sitwell a whole range of houses. It would seem that the house you're looking for is a large Georgian mansion. Their love nest was on the first floor on the south side, and there's a pair of iron gates and a long straight road up to the house. registry and the district surveyor. Two possibilities, the Lee and the hook. You should have the hook on there now. Got it. Fred, take the B276 about a mile ahead. Right. Let me know when you're in the area. Will do. Sir, it's for you. Urgent. Yes? I see. Beaumont here. You're running out of time, Mr. Beaumont. It's gone to the highest possible level. We're doing our best to arrange a deal. But I must have more time. No, Mr. Beaumont. There will be one more call, and then we begin surgery. away from the river. About a mile, and then fence all over the place. See that? What? Behind us. Let's do a number on him. Is there anywhere we can double back? Yeah, uh, three quarters of a mile. I get ready. Safe landings. This is getting to be a habit.
the gun. Great stop. I nearly lost it. No. No ID. So what's new? How is he? He'll live, won't you, Boris? of time. An old trick, but effective sometimes. But not for you, I see. No, not for me. I am Burgas. Thank you. I'll be with you shortly. I must just get a little something to eat. I can't function with nothing inside me. A weak stomach. <laughs> I suppose you're right. If I could just uh, feel your pulse. Hmm? That's good. A good, strong rhythm. At least your heart is not going to let us down. I'm so glad. I should hate to disappoint you. I'll try to do the same for you. I'll be back on the dot. Bulga. Good. Now, the radio was the jackpot. According to the grid, you're about two miles away on the same heading. I would like to wash.
Don't move. Up. You lost. Hands. my lips off.